Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss multiplication and division of fractions. The specific objectives we will discuss are multiply proper fractions, use cancellation, multiply mixed numbers, divide fractions, and divide mixed numbers. Let's begin by doing an example of multiplying proper fractions. Let's multiply 5 twelfths times 7 tenths. We're going to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. However, we're going to simplify by cancellation first, if possible. So we have 5 twelfths times 7 tenths. And you will see that 5 is a factor of the numerator here and the denominator in the second fraction. So we divide 5 into 5, obtaining 1. We divide 5 into 10, obtaining 2. We have no further common factors. So we multiply the numerator times the numerator. 1 times 7 is 7. Multiply denominator times denominator, 12 times 2, 24. So we obtain a product of 7 24ths. Now let's look at an example of multiplying mixed numbers. Let's multiply 3 times 1 and 1 half times 2 and 2 thirds, and we will write our answer in lowest terms. Whenever we are multiplying mixed numbers, we need to change the mixed numbers to improper fractions before we multiply. So we have 3 times 1 and 1 half as an improper fraction is 3 halves, and 2 and 2 thirds as an improper fraction is 8 thirds. 3 has an understood denominator of 1, so we multiply numerators, 3 times 3 times 8 over 1 times 2 times 3, but we first need to look and see if we can do some cancellation before we multiply. And you can see here that we have a 3 in the numerator, and a 3 in the denominator, 3 divides into 3 one time, 3 divides into 3 once. We have a 2 in the denominator, an 8 in the numerator, 2 divides into 2 once, 2 divides into 8 four times. Now we have divided out all of the common factors, so we can multiply 3 times 1 times 4 is 12. Over multiply our denominator, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And 12 over 1, writing in simplest form, is 12. Now let's look at an example of dividing fractions. We have 13 twentieths divided by 26 thirtieths. In order to divide fractions, we invert the second fraction and multiply by the first fraction. So we have 13 twentieths. We will invert the second fraction, 30 over 26, and we will multiply. Before we multiply, we will look for common factors to cancel, and we will see that in 13 over 20 times 30 over 26, you will see that you have a 13 in the numerator that divides into 26. 13 divides into 13 once. 13 divides into 26 two times. And you will see that you have a common factor of 10. 10 divides into 20 twice. 10 divides into 33 times. We multiply numerator times numerator is 3. We multiply denominator times denominator and obtain 4. So 13 twentieths divided by 26 thirtieths is 3 fourths. Now let's look at an example of dividing mixed numbers. Let's divide 1 and 7 eighths by 6 and 1 fourth. Before we can divide these mixed numbers, we must change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. 1 and 7 eighths will be 15 over 8. 6 and 1 fourth will be 25 over 4. Now you'll see that we are dividing fractions. In order to divide fractions, we invert the second fraction and multiply. So we have 15 over 8, and we're going to multiply that by 4 over 25. And of course we are going to divide out common factors. 
if possible, before we actually perform the operation. So 15 over 8 times 4 over 25, you will see that 4 divides into 4 one time, 4 divides into 8 two, and you will see that 15 and 25 have a common factor of 5. 5 divides into 15 three times, 5 divides into 25 five times, now we multiply numerators, 3 times 1 is 3. We multiply denominators, 2 times 5 is 10. And we see the quotient 1 and 7 eighths divided by 6 and 1 fourth has a result of 3 tenths. In this section, we have looked at several examples of multiplication and division of fractions and mixed numbers. Take these and practice and do some on your own.